everyone, it's Laura and I'm back with my top five drugstore blushes. All of these cost under $10. It depends where you shop though. The first one I'm going to show you is a little more at Ulta. You can get it for $9.99 at Target. So let me bring that one out. It's from Maybelline. It's their Master Blush. You're just paying a little over $2 for each blush in the highlighter that they include. But these shades are so pigmented and so beautiful and you really get a variety of shades. The first one here is more of a coral. Then you have a pink sort of magenta shade and then almost a burgundy. It's just a really beautiful color. You can mix these up to create your own shade of blush. I love these and the highlighter I think is beautiful. It's a champagne highlighter. I grab for this often because it's just so quick and easy to use and the blushes last all day. At Walmart, I picked up this blush from Flower. Now, I've heard that Walmart is getting rid of Flower, so I keep looking to see if any of the products go on clearance. If they do, I'm going to snatch a few up before they're gone. But this blush is just beautiful. If you're a fan of Rockateur from Benefit, this reminds me of that sort of a shade. It's a dusty mauve. It really goes with anything you're wearing. This blush runs around $8.98 at Walmart. Walmart, and the shade is called Sweet Pea. I love this, especially in the fall and winter time. It's just a very soft look. These blushes are beautiful. They're very smooth and look just gorgeous on the face. I am a big fan of this. Now, another one I am loving, I heard all over YouTube about this one. It's from Revlon, and the shade is Naughty Nude. I've been wearing a lot of nude lipsticks lately and sort of getting into nude for spring and summer. So if you want a very soft nude blush, I think this is perfect. It uh, just gives you a little bit of color, but not an over-the-top look. So I like this for work. It lasts all day. It's just a great <laughs> Revlon blush. And this one, it depends where you shop. I got it a lot cheaper at Walmart, but it can run up to $10.99 if you pick it up at Ulta. But if you're looking for that glow, but just not over-the-top, I think this is just perfect. My next favorite blush is only $2, and it's from e.l.f., and the shade is called Blushing. I bought this over at Target because I was looking for a really soft pink, and I find myself reaching for this more than blushes that I have that I spent over $30 on. It is just beautiful. I almost didn't buy it because when you look at it, you see a lot of glitter, and I thought, I don't want to look like a, a craft project exploded on my face. And But it's not like that at all. When you put it on, you don't see any of the glitter. It's just a very soft pink and perfect for spring. Recently, Ulta started carrying LA Girl uh, products, and I'm so excited about that because there are some amazing products in their line. As a matter of fact, if you'd like me to do a review of just their line of LA Girl, will you let me know in the comments because I found some winners. But one winner that I'm over the moon about is their blush. And this blush, let's see, ran me $5.99 at Ulta. Look at this shade. It is just such a beautiful color. It reminds me a little bit of Luminoso from Milani. It's one of those peach shades with some gold in it. Now, I have a very warm skin tone, so these shades tend to look best on me over pinks and plums and other shades. But I wear those anyway just to switch it up. But this is probably my best shade for my skin tone is this one. I find myself reaching for this nearly every day since I bought it. The shade is called Just Radiant. I'm going to go back and pick up a couple more. They don't have a, a wide range of blushes in their line, but they had some shades that were a little different than this that I want to pick up because it's very pigmented, it's beautiful, and I think it would rival any high-end blush. My all-time favorite blush 
is five dollars and sixty four cents at Walmart and I know that sounds funny and I may take some flack for this because it is old school but it is my favorite and it's this one from CoverGirl it's called instant cheekbones and I really do feel it gives me instant cheekbones you have the darker shade which you can put towards the lower part of the cheekbone and then the blush shade for sort of the apple of the cheek and then the highlighter this highlighter is so unique because most highlighters you buy are either champagne or have a pink tone. This actually has a peach tone that coordinates with the other shades. I find myself wanting to use this all the time and to be honest if I had to pick one blush I could own it would be this because I think it looks beautiful especially on warm skin and for this price it's pretty unbelievable. So those are my top five. I think blush is just one of those things you don't have to spend a lot of money on to get a beautiful look. I'd love to hear your favorite drugstore blushes. I, I you know, there's certain makeup products I've learned over the last few years. It's worth spending a little extra on, and of course, skin care, those types of things. But with blush, I think you can get away with something very inexpensive and get a beautiful look. I hope you all will have a great week. Peace, love, and happiness to all of you. Hi everyone, it's Laura, and today we're going to talk about drugstore concealers. Now, this video has probably been a year in the making. It has taken me a long time to try these concealers out on the long term. Some of these I've bought more than once. And I've also done a lot of research on the price. You would not believe the huge difference in price in these concealers. And it can be very deceiving to the consumer because we go and we say, oh, this is the same price. Say it's $12.99, this one's $12.99. But for many of them, there is such a huge amount of difference in product in the container. So we'll talk a little bit about that as I share the concealers. Let's start first with a brand new one. I have not used this that long, but I do love it, and it's from Neutrogena, and it's their Hydra Boost Concealer. Now this comes in a stick formula, 